Alright, All right, swap bikes. Try Vitas Dominer. Same components, but man, it feels so different. Let's try it. And then to uh, bruise a bike. He's like, yo, this thing feels like, yeah, we're gonna ride this. Let's see what happens. All right, you lead the way, Joe. Let's do it. Oh, this is 29er, too. Yup. Wow, that's <laughs> Your cockpit feels shorter. Over here at Lower Ripper, I can really feel the difference in the agility between the 27.5 wheels versus the 29ers. I can really snake left and right through the rock at Lower Ripper. It's gotta be the 29er difference. You didn't hear me comment that the bike is short. What I really meant was that the front end of the bike is low down. After riding and I looked at the specifications, the stack height on the Vetus is 595 versus 631.3 on the Scott Gambler and also on my mullet bike. That really affects how the bike feels. It feels like you're really, really low down the front and hard to bring the front end up. So the geo chart <laughs> actually confirms my suspicions on why the bike felt that way. Front fork definitely feels firmer. Oh. This bike feels short. All right. Following Joe riding the Vetus Dominer, 27.5 versus the 29er. Oh yeah, this thing feels a little more nose heavy, but the suspension is definitely more dialed. Fork felt stiff off the top, but it used more travel. I have about 10, 15 millimeters left of travel on the Vetus, but then on the Scott that I rented, I still had like two inches left. So I think there's more volume spacers in the Scott, and there's almost no volume spacers on the Vetus because it felt stiffer off the top, but I used more travel. <laughs> How's it feel? Pretty damn good. <laughs> the 29ers. I think I like a 29er on a DH bike more. Yeah. I really feel like I gotta hang off the back of this bike. Yeah. Okay, this bike. The pop timing feels more similar to the hardtail. The timing on a jump on this thing feels more closer to a hardtail. Listen. All right, let's go. Oh. Damn, it's flying, you know? Huh. What? That bridge scared the shit out of me. I thought it was going over twice. <laughs> really? I think this kind of seals the deal on like, I think if I get a DH bike, it's either gonna have to be a mullet or full 29er. Yeah, I really like the way this this screws up. Yep. Like, I'm pretty damn surprised. <laughs> Yo, I mean, this thing still feels like a couch, but you know, it rolls a little slower. You can feel it kind of, um, it kind of gets hung up. It gets hung up slightly more, yeah. More chattery. Yep. This is nice. <laughs> All right, so. So I guess it was worth the worth the rental. It was very enlightening. It was, yeah. Because there's no way I'd be able to swap a hardtail and you ride this. I'd be like gone in the back. Yeah, right. Yep. Let's go. You ready? Yeah. You went the left line, I went the right line. Oh. Woo. What came off the pedal on that one? Nice recovery. Oh, you're right. 
<laughs> what happened? Wait, that's a rock. Where? Yeah, I saw it. I think that rock that I just ran over is what knocked you over. It's just like a loose fucking brick. Oh shit. But we almost went off the uh, the edge. Oh my god. That was such a fucking look. Landed to flat. Woo. Yo, that shit hurts landing to flat. Oh, yeah. Hello, Greenhorn. <laughs> like, douche. All right, not gonna go to flat on that one. Uh, got some arm pump on that run. I saw that those woods rocks and like, I'm going. <laughs> no, that, there was a rock like this big. I know. That I ran over. That must be the one that knocked you over, right? Yeah. There was a lot of. All right, breakout. Blue. This is, I think Breakout's the straightest trail besides Deviant, Lower Deviant. Oh, that's a new one. Man, this Vitas Dominator was such good value for money. It was $3,000 and had all the same components as a $3,300 new proof descent. This was before the price hike that happened from the whole COVID tax. The bike now costs $3,500 and the next rival again is the new proof descent at $3,800. Now, the Nuclear Descent does have adjustable suspension kinematics in the rear and better kinematics in general. Though, while the components are the same, the frame should be better. And this bike would be the Legs bee's knees if I didn't out. try the 29 of Scott at the same day. I actually prefer the 29er, the rollover that it provides, and I didn't feel much loss in the playfulness or the ability to pop off the jumps. But yeah. Uh, Vetus Dominator, good value for money. That's the video for now. Thanks for watching. Bye. Huh. I wasn't expecting to do the lower half either. Huh. Whew.